So we're back on the squad construction, Cal. And the issue we're running into is we don't have a shop. We've been just parking lot hopping, just storing our equipment while we go job to job. Because if you guys remember, we just finished up the pool over there, which, dude, that was probably my best project yet. But I was like, dude, we could build a, a shop for squad construction co. Now, a lot of you guys who are big RCC fans might be asking like, dude, where's the RCC video? You're moving to a whole new state for RCC and you're going to build like a whole new dealership and stuff. That will most likely be coming tomorrow. It's just, I'm still deciding on what map to use. I haven't found the perfect map. Perfect map was going to be county line, but that map is really buggy. And so I knew I was going to run into a lot of issues with having a tons of mods on that map. So that's what I'm still trying to figure out yet. So the goal for today is to build some type of new shop and I'm going to get this equipment moved over. We have one truck right now, but I do want to buy, uh, I would do want to buy a second gen 3,500. I was like, dang, that would be a sweet truck. To buy so i think i'm gonna buy that but check this out if i can find this i got this low loader and this would be perfect for once we get bigger equipment so load keen and it, i guess it has a tilt on the back huh it doesn't really look the best right now i thought it looked a ton better but it'll have a tilt on the back so i could put like i could pretty much put all this equipment right here on that trailer and haul it with a semi instead of holding it with like two different pickup trucks even though it is pretty darn cool on it with pickup trucks but Let's search for a place on the map to put up my shop. Now, some of you guys, some uh, some of you guys who follow RCC might be like, "Dude, this is a perfect map for RCC." That's what I'm thinking too. But I do so many things on this map already. I want to find a new map. So I'm thinking I want to be close to town. Obviously, I don't want to be just like way out in the country. And I gotta find a nice flat open spot, pretty much. Probably not residential area, but we could go like a construction area. Or industrial area over like that so the goal is to search for that um okay while we're searching for it i'm gonna fire up the ford i know she's a little dirty she's a little paint chipping a little bit that always happens when you load into a new game the truck like gets like real the paint starts getting screwed up and stuff it's just like how it's supposed to be i guess it's you just got to repair it basically okay so i'm gonna dump oh shoot we have dirt in this dump trailer yet but for now i'm gonna back up the dump trailer just park it right here we're going to connect to uh, the 35 foot big tax and we're going to load up <laughs> we're going to load up the backhoe and probably the skid loader and pull that on that trailer and then I'll load up the mini X and put it in the back of this dump trailer. This is why I need more trucks, dude. I need to get that second gen badly. I actually kind of want to get that now. So at the end of this video, oh shoot, that dump trailer is going through the ground. I know that's going to be really tough hooking up to it next time because I bet you it's like locked into the ground there. But for at the end of this video, I want to get that second gen coming to so the dually, because that'll be our tow pig, basically. The Ford does good, but man, the power's there. Suspension and stability is not there with single rear wheel. It'd be nice to have a dually. So, I'm going to unfold this. I always unfold the tailgate. It's fine. Right there. Perfect. And then I got to build this shop. I, I have a, here, let me show you guys. I have a couple, couple cool, cool ones. So, I have this vehicle workshop that's like... It's a pretty neat one and this will be really good or I also have this shed. I want to put both of these up. I really I really want to put both of these up. We don't really need both of them though. I have this 72 by 160 shop. This came from the county line map and it's placeable. I really want to put both of these up because man, these are two cool shops. If I had to choose between one, I'd probably go with this one. It looks more like a farm shop, I guess, compared to like a uh, industrial like repair shop like the other one looks like. So um skid loaders probably going on the front i'm going to put the attachments on the front at least i'm going to put the stump grinder right in the front of the trailer we're going to have this thing load down if i did have the standard version of the f-250 this thing would be just squatting like crazy oh man <laughs> it would be insane okay for now the bucket's going here oh darn it the skid loader's doing this weird wobble thing where it's tough to control sometimes shoot i don't really know how to change that or do anything differently so we'll just have to deal with it Okay, so stump grinder's going to the front. I want to keep the front a little light. So, stump grinder right here, front. <laughs> there we go, drop that, and then I can toss straps on that. Okay, perfect. Now I need to get the bucket, put the bucket up there, and put the skiddler up there, and then we need to drive the backhoe on there. This is a ton of weight. It's pretty insane for this truck, but. And then, as always, if you guys are looking for a gaming PC, consider checking out Apex Gaming PCs. I have a partnership with them where we're building three PCs, two PCs are already out. I can tell you, 
they are some of the lowest they are the they are the lowest priced pcs price performance pcs i've seen i can't find anything cheaper and even if you build your own pc you still can't build one cheaper than the squad plus right now at the discount it's at i i've talked to people and they can't they like run pc part picker list and they can't build one cheaper right now it, i don't it, it's insane how, how cheap these are and it's the first 10 are going to be a hundred dollars off it's ah, that's all i can say can't even say more it's it's pretty it's pretty darn good deal so the backhoe is going to go i got to figure out how this is going to work because the ramps might fold on top of it we'll see okay so i'm going to drive this thing up okay so i'm going to drive it up i'm going to put the loader over top of the bobcat to the truck in real life this tr the back end of the truck would just be like lifting up and going crazy right now okay so we'll go right there but eventually i'll, I'll scooch this back so for now so we can fold up the ramp then i'm going to scooch the this to the side i think i should be able to fold up the ramp i think we should be good there <laughs> dude this towing setup the suspension on the towing setup like in game it never squats and it's squatting right now if i got standard if I had the standard suspension, man, this thing would be going crazy. Okay, so we got that folded up. I actually want to go repair this and put standard suspension on just so we can see it squat like crazy. Okay, back hose going back here. Um, but I'm going to have to kind of leave this loader up. Oh, shoot. Right there. Let me rotate. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. That's how we're going to haul our baby. <laughs> now, I can't strap down here. I can strap down that, but I don't think this has the strappable thing. Can anything be strapped down here? I don't think that can be strapped down. It should stay fine, though. Okay, so now we're on the search for a new shop for Squad Construction Co. I build, it seems like I'm always building new shops, but it's always fun. Like, even gas mowing, we haven't been put on there forever, and I built that whole entire new shop and comp complex it's kind of the same as this almost but yeah that's what we're working on now now you guys okay i i can't help but just point this out but when i entered the game trees were gone and my water was gone off this pool like you guys remember how much time i spent building this thing and it was just like oh man what happened it's just so many different mods and placeable mods something must have got screwed up but man we had this thing looking nice and i didn't like revert back in the save game or anything it's like, shoot, I can't believe that happened. Because, like, I, I really want to always drive by that when we were doing different projects. And drive by, by that and just, like, see that and be, like, real proud of that. Because that was pretty cool. That was pretty neat. So, I'm going to head this way in town. Now, I don't know what's all going to happen. The Ford's going a little slow, dude. The Ford is going a little slow. But I need to find some type of open lot out here that will be good. That's somewhat flat. I can put my shop up. I want it in town. Um, there might be something. Hmm, there might be something not bad out there. See, like here, it's pushing it. We're pretty darn far out, but if this field's fairly flat, I can see myself. Actually, I'd want to buy the field to the right. And I'd want to buy like something like this out here, like the cotton field out here. This wouldn't be bad. It's pretty darn flat through here. I'm thinking a spot like this. Let, let me pull up the map to show you guys where I am. So I'm right here. Part of town is here. And then another part of town is like over here. That's not bad. That's pretty close to town. It gives me a, like when I'm hauling equipment, it gives me a little drive. Kind of, we can haul for a little ways. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of the perfect distance. I think something like this wouldn't be bad at all. I do like the trees to the side of it. I think I'm going to buy this cotton field and then we'll roll with this. Buy the cotton field. And then probably I'll probably have to level this out. Ah, it's kind of cool having it, having it different levels and stuff. Five hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars to buy this cotton field. We're buying it, baby. Now, this is gonna be a sim okay. We should probably pull off to the side of the road at least. Just put hazards on. There we go. But this is gonna be a simple shop. It's nothing gonna be. It's not gonna be any Stevia Sim shop type farm slash shop. You know. He builds some crazy stuff. RCC, I'm going to try to go crazy on that and try to push myself like crazy. This is going to be fairly simple, though. Probably no pond. It seems like I'm always putting a pond on, on my shops and houses and stuff. I don't think we'll go with any pond here. It's going to be fairly simple. I do want a kind of cool roadway. Maybe something like that curves around here. And then the shops like back here or something like that. It would be kind of cool.
And there we have it. Squad Construction Co.'s new shop. I think it looks kind of good, but I started getting this feeling that it was like... <coughs> it was like a... It was like a, a, a farm. Like, I almost built it like a farm. It's not really... It's kind of neat. I, I like that. I, I like the whole thing. I like the white fencing. But once I started adding white fencing, American flags, windmills, in this red and white shed, I was like, dang, this kind of looks like a farm. But I think it looks pretty good. It's it's honestly pretty decent for a build of mine. Um, this is kind of like the heavy equipment storage area over here. This is a shop where we can work on things a lot. Wait. Oh, I haven't even gotten in this. Okay, so you can customize stuff here. That's nice. So we can change a lot of things. But where's the? where do you put something to customize it? Oh, I think you just... I'm pretty sure you just put it like anywhere in here and then you go over here and it'll customize it. That's kind of neat. So this is a shop. What? Okay. I was like, what? This doesn't have doors. Oh, that's really neat. Actually. Okay, I'm going to put those back up though, but that's really neat. Okay. So that's going to work good for a shop. This is mainly going to be your storage area. This is a farm building and I have two American flags because why not America 2X, you know? So that's what we're doing. Um, I don't know if it's kind of weird. It's fine. It's fine. It looks... American flags make things look so much better. Like a farm. It makes a farm look like a farm, you know? So, uh, unless you're in, like, Canada, then you toss up a, ca a Canadian flag. Here, this is kind of glitching out, but this is kind of another shop area where we can work on equipment. And then this is what I'll have storage. We'll just say this is, like, grass seed or something, guys. Not... Yeah, we'll say this is grass seed and fertilizer for some of our clients. There we go. And then this is the giant storage area. I even... I wasn't going to even, like use this door at all but then i was like hey we could actually make a driveway out here that leads pretty much to this door and that'll work really good so we have two driveways not just one driveway i think it's fairly decent i mean some of you guys are questioning i think it looks pretty good and then i always toss trees on the outside it just makes things look so much more realistic rather than having just a giant open cotton field right behind you i think it looks good and then <clears throat> i always think about the way the shadows are hitting so the light in farm sim always comes from one angle. It's not like a sun where the sun starts over there and then it goes all across and then it ends down there. For some reason, farm sim, it's always at this angle. And so I knew we'd actually have light and there wouldn't be shadows the whole time if we put the farm kind of facing this way. That way, like, say the sun was over there all the time, then these trees would completely be blocking the light. There'd be no light on our farm. So I really, I took, I really took that into consideration too. So now we got to pull these in, but I want since we have a shop and we can change something. I want to change one thing on this F250 to show you guys something real, real quick. The squat, man. I love the squat. And I also, one thing I didn't even think about is this driveway. I love how it's slanted up. Like it's realistic. Like it, it kind of comes down in here and there you go. You got your yard. And then I love how the street's higher than the driveway. It's kind of cool, but I guess you got to kind of worry about flooding in case water comes rushing in here. So I'm going to drop this trailer just right here. I'm going to change out the suspension on this truck. You guys will see it. Also, I need to get the second gen yet in this video, too. We'll probably grab that. But, okay. So, I think for shop customizations, I'm going to pull in the shop. We'll see if we can change it from here. I'm not sure. Oh, we can. Nice. Okay. So, I'm going to repair it for two bucks. I'm going to go customize it. And I'm going to put... Um, Where is this? Okay. Okay. Check this out. Wait. Wheel brand. Nope. Okay. You got to go stock. But then now I got to switch up my wheels a little bit. Um, where are standard BF Goodrich? I always go BF Goodrich. Things look amazing. It makes me want. It makes me wish I would have got big BF Goodrich tires on my truck in real life. Because these look just fantastic on there. Okay. So now I'm going to go connect to the trailer. It's going to be fun. I mean, it's always fun towing when the truck's squatting a lot and stuff. It's not the best when you're towing, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> look at that dude we have a ton of weight on here i love that so you can either go standard or towing setup and man that looks cool i love that dude that's sweet it's really not realistic it's really hard on the truck probably man that's pretty darn cool okay so um we got to get this stuff in here but for actually okay we're gonna unload this stuff i'm gonna keep it like this just for a little bit i'll change it back though <laughs> so uh, like backhoe skid loader, I'm just going to put in hmm, probably just this big red shed for storage, most likely. For now, I'm actually, for now, how about we just back up the trailer in the, the dirt area? That's kind of my trailer slash like heavy equipment storing area. That'll work good. <laughs> this thing is squatting, man. There we go. Okay, so for now, 
just gonna put it right here. There we go. Because, I mean, okay, shoot, perfect. <laughs> you can see all the weight goes off and then pops up. Okay, there we go. We're gonna put the work truck, uh, we'll just put it right here. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go buy the second gen, because it's gonna be added to our fleet. But one thing I'd like to get eventually is a semi with that, uh, with that, I think it's called a king load. Maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong. I think it's called load king. Load king. Of course, I said it backwards. The load king. Um, I'd like to get the Loki with a semi eventually because once we get bigger excavators and stuff, that'd be kind of neat. So for now, I'm going to go customize the second gen. Question is, do I go extended cab or do I go regular cab? Here's extended cab. I'm going to go dually for sure. Regular cab would look pretty sick. Let's go regular cab. It's a work truck, even though I kind of do like. Okay, so we're going dual rear wheel, of course. Tow mirrors. We're going to be towing. Tools. I like to have tools in the back. I wonder if I could put fuel. I can't put fuel. Fine. Tow tune, of course. Uh, and you can go dual tire configuration. But the th question is, do I go sport or do I go, go kind of like a work truck chrome look with this? Um, and what color do I go? Okay, so we're we're going maroon. Do I go maroon with all my trucks. Mm, decent. Maybe black rims. That looks pretty sick. That looks pretty good. The question is. What can I do with my bumper? I can go, there's a sport setting you can go. Yeah, I could go that. <laughs> I think everybody's gonna love that color painted. Do I do it? Or do I do, there's a couple other colors you can go. You go white, that looks pretty darn good yet too. No, definitely no. Blue, mm, gray, nah. We go black. Dude, I, I dig this garlic color. You guys hate when I do this garlic color, but man, I love this garlic color on this truck. Dude, we should go brown. Could be the dirty dodge. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm so doing this, dude. I'm so doing it. I know a lot, I'm going to get a lot of hate, guys. Wait, hold on. How does it look actually out here? Dude, I love it. Let's go brown for the dirty dodge. Squawk construction kill. Yeah. Like a bronze. I don't uh it's kinda maybe I should have at least the chrome bumper. I kinda like it. Dirty dodge, yeah dude, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm doing it. Okay, and so I guess the only trailer we gotta bring back is that dump trailer. It has dirt in it now. So I gotta I gotta drop off the dirt somewhere and then load up that mini excavator in it. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of my choice on this. Maybe it's not the best choice for this truck. It depends. It depends on the lighting, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. It's too brown almost. It's cool. It's cool. I like it. I like it. What's cool is the hood opens on this, too. You can see the inline six Cummins just sitting right in there. Nice little engine. Big engine, I should say. Then we got the gooseneck on the back. But I gotta figure out a way to. I, th I should be able to lower. Yeah, there we go. Because it was sitting too high. Right there. That way. Right there. That should be better. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I, I might use this for RCC to like do an engine swap. Because it's always cool when you can open the hood and just like role play like you put a new engine in and stuff. It's always neat. I'm gonna shut that. And I gotta dump this dirt. And then we can go. Uh, we can load up the Mini X. The dirt has been dumped. I think that looks pretty darn good, man. Okay, so I'm gonna load up the mini excavator. We'll just pull in here. Here, I'll uh, I'll probably loop around here. So we'll pull in and I'll loop around so that way I'm all set and ready to go to pull out of here. Okay, right there. Unfold those ramps and we'll leave the truck running. Now I gotta drive this thing up here, put her in here. I don't know if you guys have seen me load this thing up. I load the skid loader up in the dump trailer. I think actually I think maybe I've hauled this in the dump trailer before. I'm going to go straight up in her. I could back it in, I guess, too. And she's in there. Perfect. And you can also strap it down. I'm pretty sure there's straps that you can strap down. It's kind of weird, different. Here, let me just hit. I'll just hit L, and you'll see the straps go. You can see this, the bobcat even go, pushes down a little bit, so you can see it's actually tight. There we go. Oh, wait. We're kind of popping some wheelies. You can kind of see. Maybe not. No, it's kind of pop. It's kind of lifting the front end a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let me step on it just a tad bit. 
kind of see that. Not much at all. It'd be cool if this, if you could get this squat or this truck to squat a little bit. That'd be kind of cool. But no, it handles it fine. There we go. Tow mirrors. You can see the trailer perfectly. Nice. And then we got a nice little drive to our farm. Not. It's just right outside of town. Town. Just barely right outside of town. It's honestly just perfect. And there's the farm. Got the windmill. There she is. Should probably shut some of those. Then we'll pull in. Hopefully, I didn't make this too wide or too uh, or too narrow. I mean, there we go. Nice. Got the dirty dodge. I'll just back her up by the other trailer. We're getting this place looking nice. It'll be nice once we have like big equipment and maybe like once I get people in here. If I get like more people to help out. Like say we have like three mini excavators, one giant excavator. We're just on a huge digging project or something. It'd be kind of cool to have some help, I think. Drop the trailer. There we go. <laughs> it's looking pretty cool. One thing I've been noticing is my computer has been like, has been kind of like, it's been really slow. Like, I cut out most of the parts, but sometimes I'll be, like, lagging like crazy throughout this map. And I have no idea what it is. My farm sim takes forever to load, too. Just recently. I don't know if it's the shaders or what. But it's... I got this computer, like, two years ago or something. I I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of making me a little angry. It's just that it takes, like, five minutes to load and stuff. I'm like, what the heck? So, um, but anyways, hopefully you guys didn't... Oh, shoot. I missed one little... Darn it. I gotta fix that yet. But, uh... Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video of Squad Construction Kill. If you did, hit that like button. Seriously, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.